welcome to another episode of Living Too Late. My name is Ollie Smith. We're back with another episode. Hang on, this is sounding a bit tinny. One, two, one, two, one, two, one. One, two, one, two, three. <laughs> so we're, we're back in the art studio. With, this is our art studio. I, I don't know if people realise, we were just saying... We like the fact that we're doing our podcast from a real space. It's a real space. And good evening, everybody, <laughs> to this a new, a new podcast here. Yeah. Um, we're quite excited because we're doing this more frequently now. Yeah. and um, Because the aim is to... Um, <laughs> get more people subs- liking and subscribing. Yeah, and interested in the subject, the crazy subject of art. Of art, yeah. So... <clears throat> Um, yeah, we've got some we've got some art things to discuss uh, today. Uh, but before, before we get onto that, how's it going, Mark? Um, yeah, um, I think that's a fair question. I'd say <laughs> up and down. <laughs> you can you can be honest with me. Yeah, I, I, I think up and down. You know, um, but right now, up. Uh, are you sure? Pretty much. I think. Um, didn't you say earlier something about? Feeling like a a blunt instrument. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. No, Is no. that sh- shouldn't it's I okay. mention that? Uh, no, you can mention it. I mean, um, what I'm does that mean? What did you mean? Uh, well, you know, you know, when uh, people there's a saying, you, you know, um, not the sharpest tool in the shed, sort of thing. The sharpest tool in the shed. Yeah. 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 Is so it a toolbox? Oh, it could be to- a toolbox. But, yeah, yeah, or a shed. So, yeah, um, yeah, I'm feeling a bit like one of those tools at the moment for some is that annoying reason. I- is that because... Uh, um, it's not the beer. I've only just started <laughs> drinking. <laughs> what are you drinking over there? Um, a little gem. Oh, it's the, I love it. Yeah. I, I bloody love it. Mm. Is that that was my um, oh, well, Somerset we've County got a selection uh, of interesting um, beers tonight? We have, yeah, I'm on the Spitfire, uh, but I'm not enjoying it. Right, it tastes a bit. Mm. Oh, well, there's good old Doom Bar and um, Hobgoblin there, which I've not had for a while. Mm. Um, so, but yeah, um, yeah, something going wrong with the Spitfire uh, tonight. Anyway, yeah, the sharpest tool in the shed. Yeah, so so it's one of those things. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure that this is something a lot of people get and are going through as well. You know, I think there's. You know, with everything that's going on, well, and um, there's a lot going on out there. And uh, not just, in here though. No, no. Only the podcast. And also just me being me. Um, unfortunately, yeah. I am. Uh, when it comes to art, um, I'm quite. I would say highly skilled with my work and my god Mark yeah. you sound like a bit of a snob <laughs> yeah exactly yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. we're going to um, be talking in yeah. a little bit about yeah, yeah. art snobbery yeah 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 but um, carry on but yeah you know I mean <laughs> obviously that's one thing that yeah. I do have um, on my side is um, I I, uh, I have um, you know in, in all um, uh, come on get it out <laughs> it's stuck. <laughs> Get the words yeah, yeah. out, Mark. Uh, hence the blunt tool. But um, <laughs> um, with all the, uh, uh, it, it's going. It's slipping away. Um, <laughs> well, I think um, I need help. I think I think it's something I've got on my side. I've I've got a certain eye for things. A discerning eye. And there's actually oh, a, and the a discerning eye. That it, sounds like a book. It's a competition. Um, oh, is it? Yeah, an art competition. Um, in Any fact, um, it's quite a prestigious one, I think. Yeah, I've oh not. Right. Uh, I think I might have gone in for it before, but not for a long time now. So discerning eye sounds familiar. Yeah, I've lost connection on my screen for some reason. That's all right. It might come back. It oh. might not. We we'll wait and see. Oh, okay. Um, so um, yeah, I think um, artists generally do have hmm. a unique eye. Yeah. For uh, things. Yeah, yeah. So um, I have that on my side. Um, what I don't have all the time is the, well, you know, 
uh, I speak for many thousands of artists when I say, you, you know, that the whole... Life is, skills. Uh, more business, business skills, marketing, all that stuff, all that, the promotional... That art needs. All those other skills that art needs. All that rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All the stuff that well, as artists we just yeah, don't want to do and yeah, is yeah. really boring and dull. Unless yeah. you you come from business and um, I found a creative way to make an art form out of it, which or, people do. <laughs> or you find a more creative way to do it, like what we're doing now. Uh, exactly, yeah. Right? A more creative way. We like doing this, don't we? Yes, this is fun. Yeah. Yeah, this is fun. Um, and, you know... Endlessly posting onto Instagram, not so much fun. Not not really. Making videos. Um, I mean, it's I do it, um, but I, I, I don't... I'm not like... I'm not. I don't religiously uh, do it like I was at one point. I don't think right, it really right. makes any difference, to be honest. Right. But every now and then, I'll pop on there and yeah. share some images, progress of the work, and all yeah. the rest of it. I thought about um, making a big push and really go for it. Yeah. And then I was like, <sighs> it's, I just, it's just not in me to do it. No, but and even um, if it was, it does it. Would it really? Come to March. I mean, it this might is the do. thing. You it know. might do. You never know. There are no uh, guarantees. Exactly. Yeah. So, um, uh, so yeah. we've got. Um, so uh, yeah, we. I mean, it's a bit of a. Um, but I think you're right. Doing uh, the, the the approach that's fun and and getting attention that way. I think that right. is the key. Yeah, that's the magic uh, key that nobody <laughs> talks about. <laughs> because <laughs> uh, you know, last time I checked, we had seven subscribers. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Um, Almost time to open the champagne. I know. Do you want to check? Should we check live? Uh, uh, <laughs> you don't sound... Uh, you it's don't fine, sound, though, because uh, I know that in five years' time, it's going to be 7,000. Uh, exactly. That's, well, that's, I was thinking, that's how it works. I was thinking... Of, I have now we've still got seven. Oh, well. Um, I'm a bit disappointed about that. I thought we were going to have, like... I, think we were gonna, I thought we were going to go into our double figures... Yeah. Um, well, that's disappointing. Uh, yeah, but you know. That's it. I'm done. Let's quit. Fucker. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, it's 20. Oh, amazing. <laughs> no. Uh, Still <laughs> seven. Come on, people. Like and subscribe <laughs> and uh, follow us for some more entertaining art chat. Yeah. Um, anyway, um, so uh, we're going to talk a little bit about art snobbery. We've got um, uh, a, a story, an article about um, Paul Rubens, uh, who sadly passed away recently. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the um, London bus stop Barbie posters, which is like a you know, political, uh, creative statement uh, uh, that some artist has made. I've not seen them. Have you not seen them? No. We'll, we'll look at it a bit later. I'll tell you something pretty hilarious, though. I was in Go town on. the other day. Yeah. Um, just a day out, walking around randomly, and um, I noticed this uh, woman cross the road, probably yeah. in her mid to late 20s. Mm. And she was a spitting image of a, uh, a Barbie doll. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. So it's basically, um, I don't know if she's had any uh, surgery. But surgery. But um, her whole costume and outfit. She was really going for it. Yeah. The Barbie but, look. But she was doing it not in a, in, I, I think she was doing it not in a way that uh, a performance art, but in, in taking it seriously as a fashion <laughs> statement. And I just found it hilarious. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Know. Good for uh, her, I guess. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I just couldn't believe it. But, yeah. but it's because they made this film, isn't it? You know, yeah, it's Barbie sort of film. Um, yeah, um, everyone's drawn to it. You well, know, but yeah. it's like it's almost like some women may have taken it a bit too seriously, <laughs> and it's kind of a bit of a concern. Concerning, you, yeah, a bit, a bit concerning. You know, when you see, you, you know, I mean, what does that say then about? <coughs> People and the well, the I mean, sort of society that we're living in. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I am. Um, <laughs> what causes people to get excited about a Barbie movie is beyond me. But um, I'm, you know, it's very popular. 
Yeah. I don't know. It's very. It's a strange one, Mark. I don't. I don't I've I got no actually, answers for it. No, I mean I've not seen the film, so um, I might watch it at some point and really like it. But um, so uh, we should probably get back to <laughs> talking about art. I mean, this will come up later, yeah. but um, in a weird way, we've, we're having a um, a kind of uh, just a, a roundabout catch up. Mm. Um, so um, let's uh, get on with the intro. Like yeah. and subscribe, people, please. Yeah. I noticed oh, you, I you've got your glasses there. Oh, yeah. I was going to say, actually, yeah. that was part of my catch-up. Yeah. I noticed that you're, you've got rather nice pair of sunglasses on. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. They are kind of... They're um, orange. They're orange-tinted. Orange-tinted. Orange, orange yeah, tinted. yeah. They make everything sunny and bright it's, and warm. It's, it's beautiful, actually. Yeah, and I've gone to the other end, and I've got blue. Yes. And it's like uh, everything's cold and miserable yeah. and dull. Isn't that fascinating? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a clean blue. Anyway, yeah, um, yeah uh, let's get on with it then. <laughs> ah, we're back. We're back, baby. Here uh, we are. <laughs> 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 um, right. So, um, you know, what was I going on about earlier? I was uh, talking about um, <laughs> art snobbery and... Yeah. Uh, you know, the reason I started thinking about art snobbery was kind of like we tend to, you and I, but I think a lot of people that I speak to, we end up in uh, going on a bit of a uh, an art quest, quest in say in London or somewhere, and we go into a lot of galleries and we see a lot of bad art, uh, yeah, and then we get. Despondent, well, we, frustrated, eyes, depressed. Yeah, in our eyes, we we take it as you know a lot of it, not all of it, but um, you know, th- obviously, there's some. Great it's upsetting though, right? Uh, like when you see a lot of that, yeah, that artwork. <coughs> it is. Yeah, I don't it, know. What it's to very. Um, uh, so, it's very <sighs> dis- desponding. Yes. Um, so we tend to go right. That's bad. That's not real art. That's or that's not where I want to be with my art. And you know, they these galleries need to start showing better work. And then you start judging it and going, "Well, I'm my work's much better than that. Yeah, and your work's better than that. Well, and his work's better." And then you start being <laughs> a bit of sno- snobbery about yeah. it. But um, uh, yeah, I mean that's a good point. I mean, my initial uh, thought there was to say it probably is better. <laughs> but um, again, you know, art is so subjective, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's the whole point, you know, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of so it doesn't matter what's good and bad. Yeah, it's it's what is um, valued in the it's the eye of the beholder type yeah. approach. So yeah. some people might um, look at. Um, I mean, it's it's very in art history. It's very common that. Um, people uh, looked at certain artists and goes, well, that's rubbish. Mm, like oh, my, absolutely. My yeah, child yeah. could paint better than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, all the, uh, lo- a lot of the great lot artists of them, right? had, you know, Matisse even, you yeah. know. I mean, he was rejected, you know, yeah. and laughed at. But um, they all, well, yeah. a lot of them were. I'm not, I, yeah. I can't say all of them, but um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of them were. But a lot of the really big artists were yeah. also rejected. Yeah, yeah, um, exactly. That's it. Because of snobbery, yeah, and now like. and now th- you know we see their work and it's incredible. Some of the best yeah. artists. It, it's funny, isn't it? I think it says something about um, uh, how art is art is viewed in the moment, maybe. You know, uh, because the period you mean? Yeah, the period. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Yeah, because, absolutely. You know, because um, some things can be before their time. Exactly. Yeah. Well. Um, without, I hope I don't sound like a snob saying this, but, well, no, maybe I do. Maybe I do hope I sound like one, because <laughs> it, it could be screen. that perhaps, perhaps my work is... Uh, before it's time. Before it's time at the moment, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, the thing is, uh, with, with my work, it's very much about, um, obviously, the execution of it is very pristine and, and well-crafted, um, uh, but it's... Uh, very much about um, uh, joy and um, energy and living in a 
colourful, bright, vibrant. exciting, vibrant yes. future. Yeah, that's it. And and where we are now it doesn't reflect that whatsoever. No. <laughs> so, um, so I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd kind of like to think that my art can help to turn that tide around, but whether people are ready to um, start perceiving a different story from the one that exists at the moment i'm not sure see so th that's the the ongoing disruption yeah uh so the challenge at the moment really so yeah, uh, I, I don't know um yeah. so we went to a little art group uh last was it last week or the week before like in the in the in the pub yeah yeah that was lovely um and we stayed really enjoyed we had, it. We had a couple of beers and we stayed and we talked and the reason that this art snobbery came up in my mind for tonight's podcast was that I had said something to somebody, one of our colleagues um, that was hanging out with us um, and I said um, oh my my paintings down there, that one down there um, they're kind of like coming <laughs> Uh, they like. I'm worried that they're sort of coming off as you know, no better than a, you know, a tattoo, and uh, you know, it was a silly thing to say because I was talking to somebody that quite valued tattoo art and is covered in them, and she said, "What do you mean?" And I went, "Well, you know what I mean. You know, it's just a tattoo." Mm. And she said, "Well, some tattoo artists are very." Good fine artists, uh, good artists, you know, and they're selling their, you know, making money, selling their original artwork, and well, they make tattoos yeah. at the same time. What do you mean? What do you mean? And I was like, I know it's a well, different market, though, isn't it? Yeah, different market. It's a totally different, different market. market. There's a different yeah. talent and a different market, yeah. and I, you know, and I, and I want to counter it a little bit because I felt like I was coming off as a bit of a snob, <laughs> you know. Um, um, no, I, I didn't think so. I think. Oh, but I wanted to. Oh, right. Because I don't, yeah. I don't value tattoos in the same no, no. the, the no, same no, no, no. level as fine art. Uh, I don't either. No, it's but a if, different thing. But even if um, they painted it on a very nice canvas and framed it and put it in a very expensive gallery and put yeah. it on the wall, I would still look at it and go, "But that's just a tattoo painted right. onto a canvas. Ah, I don't feel anything for it." Yeah. Is it? Yeah, Because yeah. um, tattoos. Can see the argument is tattoos can be quite uh, mm. suggestive and quite valuable mm. and have a lot of passion and feeling and emotion and meaning. Yeah, and so basically because it's a visual communication, yeah. they would say um. it has as much to offer as say this nice artwork on the wall. That's your contribution for today. Yeah, it's um, very nice. It is uh, too. It's a, for those th that can see it in the background there. It's um, a paper collage. Uh, I don't normally um, do anything in paper collage. Actually, that's the only paper collage I've <laughs> done <laughs> I in think existence it's at the moment. I I, I um, really like that, Mark, and I think well, you should do more of them. I can try. It's very difficult because I had to line up all the pieces absolutely perfectly to fit, so that none of those pieces overlapped one another. And then stick them down, wow. uh, knowing that, you know, once they go down, that's it. You can't pick them up again, yeah. you know. Yeah. So, I, <laughs> well, amazingly, I managed done. to do it. But, yeah, um, it's nicely done. I think you thanks. should do more of them, to be honest. Um, potentially. Um, you uh, could start uh, smaller. Yeah, I mean, at the moment, I'm focusing on some colour drawings, which I'm really enjoying, actually. Mm. And um, some more painting as well. well we, uh, um, we would like to see those, I think. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, go. So back to so my tattoo. You know, I'll not. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not an argument about tattoos. No, no, no. I but think um, they. Are it was a discussion, and it was like, well, um, it's a very. I don't. Yeah. I, I see uh, tattoo artists that become. They're kind of like borderline street artists, putting things onto canvas, reasonably commercially successful. Yeah. But I don't. I mean, there are galleries that. Show that, that do that of, right, yeah, yeah. So, but I don't. I feel I don't want. I didn't want to be. I don't even want to be uh, held in that category of 
type of art. No, same here. Because I feel like the no, I, don't. I feel like there's it's, it's, well, I'm not. I'm not. I know. I'm. I'm not. I'm. I'm already. I am not. But there's. So, uh, uh, but there's something. <laughs> I, I'm struggling myself personally to deal with it because I'm dealing yeah. with very simple imagery yeah, yeah. that could could that quite easily be it could appeal to that yeah, sort of yeah. side of thing. But and doesn't it could, yeah, yeah it's, it's more as yeah, yeah. Well exactly. I mean I'm even though my paintings, like my, my big abstract paintings are um they I mean it's the the, the difference is they're they're more thoughtfully um, produced and uh, thought out, and they've got more depth and and ideas behind them than say some street art. Do you know what I mean? Oh, See? yeah, but that's, some that's pi- the thing. My, you know? my so so automatically, my work is in is not in that class. You know, but is it uh, the snobbery comes in when you say, "But mine's better." <laughs> oh right, <laughs> uh, well, I've not said it yet. <laughs> no, I think I think you know we we've got our. Uh, um, what's the word? Um, preference to. It's kind of like oh, I can't find the word that I'm looking for. It's not preference, um, but it's kind of. Um, I can't find the word. It's gone. It's not. It's not there. Cheese board. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Cheese board. I could do with some cheese. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I. Um, oh man, frustrating. <laughs> um, but it's. I think, um, yeah, it's a tricky area because there are people that do value that artwork immensely and will pay extraordinary amounts of money for it and go, well, it is just as important as yeah, a Hock, um, David Hockney. True. Or, um, but, but then the same could be said about people that were buying, you know, NFT images, you know, at one point. Yeah, a year ago. Yeah, obviously now <laughs> the market... Two years ago. It, Totally could slumped and dropped. Totally dead. Like I yeah. knew it would. <laughs> <laughs> and all those people yeah. on Instagram saying, um, "Oh, your oh, work's great. Oh, NFTs, please. Uh, yeah, we yeah. want to work with you, and we want to sell your work as NFTs. NFTs." And I'm like, "No, no, it's just, <laughs> it's just not very good." Um, <laughs> so, um, so anyway, you know, it's it's crazy, really. I mean, people that it would pay. A, a sum like that for yeah for, s- you for know. A, i mean but there there are artists out there that are very successful i'm thinking of um one guy in particular that's on my instagram I, feed yeah um, and he makes his art his artworks so i like the detail in them like he's got he, you can see his mind his thinking coming through his artwork but it's all digitally generated in like a like a rendering okay. kind of software mm. where he creates interior so exterior spaces and and the final piece is a digital digital yeah work, but I think it? he's also started turning them into painting like oh, okay like proper paintings yeah, yeah, yeah. um but they originally were just dig- only digital right but okay, he made okay. he's made unbelievable amounts of money out of it like like incredibly <sighs> successful. Oh, I don't know. And he's got um I don't, he's, I don't he's, know put, he's he's got magic a wand he wove. <laughs> yeah. He's got an extraordinary um. skill. <laughs> there's a there's a the the way his mind works. Like <laughs> you can see it coming through in the work. It's not everybody can make work like that. And it's the same with yeah. tattoos and it's the same with I don't these think alternative media like street art and yeah. the, like alternative creative <laughs> things. And it's like my upbringing was not that. And I'm f- from a time when, um, you know, I was learning to paint with oil paints. And yeah, yeah. So it was a more learning traditional... About, yeah, learning about colour. That's it, Learning it? about form, shape. I think shape. that's it. I think because with our work, it's like, it's uh, quite based um, in uh, from s- the traditional values and... Um, um, and yeah. And uh, do, do, uh, is that right? Yes, yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, but uh, but on top of that, we're doing something that's quite different as well. Very contemporary, I would say. Yeah, you know, in our in different ways. Um, um, but so I think you need. To, I think the the answer is um, actually need to keep an open mind about um, creativity. Like creative process and, <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> 
I d- <laughs> just keeping an <laughs> open mind there. <laughs> How dare you? This isn't a pr- proper podcast with b- bottle just blowing whistles. <laughs> That's my snobbery coming out. It really was. <laughs> um, yeah. So um, yeah, I you know I think you know what lovely beer. Partly, mm. partly what I what I need for myself is <laughs> that. I need to feel like I'm making something which is perhaps more than a tattoo, more than a street piece of street art, more than it is more than that already. Yeah, exactly. Um, and I and I feel like, well, you mm. know, p- people can make those things and ha- and have can't they make those things and have those feelings as well though, or are they just making something that looks cool? Uh, because I don't, <laughs> I I don't make things to look cool, because they know what they're doing, right? They're using the colours they, the the subject matter that they choose, the colours that they choose, the processes that they choose. It's all kind of cool, and it's in, and it's now. Yeah. But I make the things I make before I was making that down there, and yeah. I was doing them in a kind of very tradition, more a yeah. traditional way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of putting them together, and then I started stenciling, then I started mm. cutting, and then pouring resin. Yeah, and I didn't do it to be popular. I didn't do it um, to be cool. I did it because I felt the process needed it. Does uh, that make that's a different? There's a difference there, right? Uh, yes. No, I, I can. I get what you're saying now. I think. Yeah. The process uh, to me was important, and how they how mm. the process evolved. Like that is very down here. The big skull that you can see in front of you mm. is very different than what I'm doing now. But I felt like I needed to do that to get to that this new process. And I think a r- true artist actually does evolve. Yeah. Like I mean, they're yeah, gonna yeah, start yeah, yeah. Sl- start to slightly do things differently. Yeah, yeah, but. Yeah. Well, you, you, what, what, what I think happens is you develop a certain uh, style that is your distinctive style. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but then moving forward, that can, it can evolve, it can evolve and, and yeah. channel into di- different way, you know, areas of different things, you know. I think, um, I think there are, are street artists that are very good artists. Um, probably. Um, but... They're obsessed with creating artworks of cartoon characters that don't belong to them. <laughs> like like Mickey, using Mouse. Mickey Mouse, mm. uh, Casper the Ghost, oh, and, yeah, yeah. and so on, Donald yeah. Duck, and so yeah. on, and so on, and so on. And it's like, um. they, they don't have any right... I mean, if they try mm. to sell their work, I mean, they probably can sell it because that's the thing to do is to buy a piece of irreverent. <laughs> like, uh, we could buy the... Something yeah, outsider art. Saying. Outsider art. Is that a thing? Is uh, that a thing? Yeah, yeah, it's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, it's kind of cool to be buying someone that's kind of like graf- graffitiing up the city. <laughs> How dare you? Yeah. Well, uh, what if it's someone painting up the city <laughs> using traditional. You mean murals? Say, yeah, say, Making say murals. someone. When does that happen? Well, ever. Say someone got um, commissioned to paint. Um, you know, like a a new, nice... Doesn't happen very often, though, does it? You know, like a bridge or something with oil paint, you know. But it doesn't... And, and I mean, they're, they're allowed to use other paints, but it doesn't happen, Mark. It doesn't happen very often. Not in this country. What's that? Sorry. Mur- yeah. Murials. No. They don't go on... Not art, like not, taking not your art and making it into a public space. It doesn't happen very often. Not, not a lot. I, um, I don't often see it. Um, Hardly ever. Yeah, I mean it does. Um, it can happen, I guess. But um, yeah. Um, anyway, have we lost track of where we're going. Potentially. <laughs> <laughs> so I think it might we, be, yeah, yeah, we need to well. put a pin in this snobbery thing. <laughs> uh, so okay. basically, what what I'm getting <laughs> at is um, we've got kind of mixed feelings about certain types of art. So the, it, it gives a basic description here of yeah, a snob. Yeah. Um, well, I was gonna say, just read from that just yeah. briefly, just to justify our position. Okay. Do you now, do you yeah, I'll, I'll just that quote. Yeah, there's a couple of bits there. So, um, 
Yeah. It comes down to the basic definition of a snob. And it's that is a person who believes himself or herself to be an expert or a connoisseur in a given field and is condescending yeah. toward or disdainful of those who hold other opinions or have different tastes regarding this field. There is another word, and um, it's uh, ungracious intolerance. Oh. We're not that, are we? Uh, we're not. Un- we're not being. No. We're not being uh, ungracious about it. Uh, no. Um, um, and I just feel like uh, that's no. that's my bit of justification. I mean, I'm, like, we're, I, we're still. I don't think I'm a snob, to be honest. Now that I've had a, a deep <laughs> think about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think Even, so you can have can you have like um, your can we keep our opinions and yeah, not be Yeah. I think we can have strong opinions on on what we would uh you know what we believe um real art is and good art is um and I can say oh something Oh man it's like a can of yeah. opening a can of I, worms I can, that is Mark. Yeah. I can say real that art. NFTs are a waste of time. And yeah. I, I don't have any value. And I, I don't have a problem not. saying that. Yeah. Uh, because yeah. that's what I personally believe. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know. Um, but um, but there are people that do believe they're real art. Apparently, yeah. So yeah. there you go. You know. Yeah. What What can we do? You know. But you know, should should say an illustrator for a book, like a, a graphic, say an illustrator for a graphic novel. Should he have his work in a gallery where we all go and and uh, wonder at it and think about think about its meaningful place in the world? Uh, a novel? No, I, okay. I mean the the like an art, uh, an illustrator. Oh, sorry, yeah, right. That's okay. taken his work. Yep. and he's put it into a gallery space. Uh huh. And it's now displayed as fine art. And can we um, still approach it in the same way as we approach, uh, you know, uh, uh, some art that you would uh, actually recognise? Um, I don't know. I would say it would depend on the gallery. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. a very good answer. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think you. I think. Yeah. You're, I think it's right. Um, right. We're gonna have, <laughs> we're gonna have to stop talking about this now because we can okay. keep opening cans of worms. And just yeah. to finish oh, it off, I'd like another can of worms. Yeah. Open those. Open those. Well, because I recently found my fishing rod. <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I'm planning to go on a bit of an adventure. You know. Um, you is your screen see. working yet? Um. Yes. So I see that. Yeah, so we, we're moving on. We're just going to close this off. Is it time d- for... Uh, yeah, open that. Uh, yeah. Open uh, well, which one would you like? Um, uh, <laughs> Doom or Goblin? Uh, goblin. <laughs> oh, all right, okay. <laughs> I was going to get that the, one. Have you got an opener? Um, I do over there. <sighs> Dude, <laughs> I had to do this last time. <laughs> if I bash it, it's going to uh, go everywhere. This one's physio, isn't it? Want, uh, can I quickly... <laughs> Can you entertain the the crowd for? Uh, <laughs> I'm for just going to do it. I'm <laughs> going to do it. Ready? Okay. Right. Let's get that out of the way. No explosions. <laughs> oh, thank oh, God for that. Yeah. All right. Uh, give me your Brilliant. one. I did this last time. <laughs> Can you bring the bottle opener here next? Time? I should. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shameful. <laughs> Brilliant. All right. There you go. Nice. Thanks, Mark. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Um, so. Um, just to, uh, as an olive branch to all those tattoo artists out there, just going to say the Bristol Tattoo Convention 2023 <laughs> is currently uh, uh, right. t- selling tickets for okay. their main event, which is actually held, I think it's in um, Ashton Gate Stadium. It's oh, God. massive. Right. Wow. Like, you're talking thousands yeah. of people showing up to that thing. That's crazy. Um, but look how cool wow. that that artwork is. See, it's, it's all quite fun. Yeah, it's um, uh, four leaf clovers. Yeah, I mean you can see what it is. Dice yeah. seven, number seven. Yeah, aces. Yeah. It's all yeah. the things I paint. It is. I was just <laughs> thinking that actually. Isn't that bizarre? <laughs> what is that? Go- what is going on there, Mark? Am I just a, ta- a, 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 no, a closet um, tattoo artist? Well, you, I think with tattoo art, I mean these things often. S- 
they want that. I mean, you know, people want different things, but you know, certain things like cloves, dice, or whatever. Uh, it's got, it's that symbolic um, connotation. I well, guess. Well, I mean, uh, what's going on um, in my other w- paintings where I've got lots of these symbols like dice and numbers? It's yeah. it's literally and that's symbolic too. But the the combinations that I'm putting together, yeah, are. Um, it's not. It's done in a more kind artful of way, though. I would say this is. Do you, can I say that? I mean, <laughs> I, I don't, don't know, know, man. This list uh, looks quite artful. <laughs> I don't think we can win this argument. I don't think we can. Um, no, we can. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can. You no. can in your own mind, uh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. I think we're. I think we're in trouble. Let's change the subject. Um. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is there. It's no, I think, um, you know, I mean, it's done. In I was thinking, oh, well, I could go along and get a tattoo, actually. Yeah. You know. We both could. Yeah. I don't have one. I don't have one either. Uh, what mm-hmm. do you think you would go for? Um, I found them a question. bit meaningless. I think people get tattoos because they think it looks cool. Yeah. Um, it's like, oh, I I'm going to get that because I like it. I like uh, yeah, well, that's I like it. tigers. I, yeah, I mean, if it's personal, something okay. personal, like... They do look really cool, though, sometimes. Like, the, some um, tattoo artists are really super impressive. Yeah. Um, um, we've definitely got to get off this subject. We've been talking about this for about yeah. 20 minutes now. Again, you know, it's a different market. <laughs> you know. It's a different market, different folks. Market, there you have it. We'll yeah. move on. There is a place for tattoo art in the world, though. Yeah. I don't need to say that. Everyone knows that. Oh, this you has know. got the <laughs> the Bristol Tattoo Convention is long gone. Look at that. I'm so oh. behind. Oh, okay. Well, there we go then. I'll July have to wait. 8th and 9th. You have to wait until next year. Sorry. <laughs> that's how, t- that's how topical mind. we are. We're always late. <laughs> We're living um, too late. Yeah, we are. We are living too late. That's uh, the name of the podcast. the show, yeah. Yeah. So, um, on to Paul Rubens. Now, oh, Paul Rubens. There he is. Let's have a yeah. picture. Yeah. Paul Rubens sadly passed away in July. And right at the end of July, didn't quite make it to uh, August. Um, but um, I was never a fan of his, really. I mean, he found him quite annoying. I think yeah. maybe one of his um, movies like um, uh, Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure or something like that. Yeah. Um, but he had a sort of massive... Um, yeah. Oh well, uh, you know, it was just classic clownism. It started off. It started off know. with <laughs> the Pee Wee Herman show, which I never yeah. saw because we never really. I don't think we actually got it, and I never saw um, Pee Wee's Playhouse, which is in the article that you introduced me to. Yeah. And the and that article brought up a lot of things. Um, two of the main people that helped him on that show and create the whole yeah it's actually really interesting aesthetic for the show were two artists yeah and um they were given free reign and the more outrageous and bizarre they got Mm -hmm. the more um paul uh rubens reacted to it enjoyed it it, enjoyed it and went crazy yeah (laughs) he helped them out they carried on making work i think it was it won numerous awards for its kind of outsider uh, yeah. effect and um i think i would have gotten well with it D- do you yeah should we watch because should I we watch a little bit of the show yeah come on let's let's have a little <laughs> clip let's uh, L- look yeah, how nuts yeah, it is there he is <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> but it's it, the show it's is just brilliant. bonkers i mean look at the characters um, you've got. I think it's interesting. I mean, things have people have tried to do stuff like this since, haven't they? Have they? Uh, well, similar, you know, whether it's uh, Teletubbies or Mr. Blobby or, or but it I would, don't know. It but uh, I don't think any of that lives up to this. I mean, this is still quite original, isn't it? And for its time. Yeah, I think it was. I mean, it was a children's TV show. It was, yeah. Um, it, and he kind uh, of embodied that um, that energy, that kind of way of seeing the world. I, I guess as a child. Do you know what bugs me yeah. though? It's that the whole emphasis was that they were 
it was the whole article was kind of like emphasizing, oh, artists made this show, oh, like all the right, stuff in yeah, this show, yeah. and I just, yeah, it's creative. <laughs> oh, it, it definitely like, had a big part to play, <laughs> but it wouldn't have worked without Paul Rubens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, the stuff is is pretty bonkers. Um, but the thing is, it's kind of like, well, I'm fascinated by it. I must admit. Look at it. Yeah. That eye. Like, I mean. <laughs> It is just, there's so much weirdness going on. I mean, it kind of reminds me a little bit of George Osborne on uh, a real high, you know, like um, <laughs> um, crack or something. Yeah. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, we're, we're an adult <laughs> podcast for adults, not a kid's one. Um, the speaking of uh, adult um, uh, adult uh, themes, um, uh, sadly, towards the end of his life, Paul Rubens was pretty much cancelled because of a uh, situation where he was um, caught unawares in a adult theatre in oh. uh, America, wherever he was. I don't know where he was. That's sad, isn't it? Um, well, it was before. Apparently, it was before a time of um, uh, you know twenty four seven internet pornography, and people would go to adult theatres to watch yeah. a pornographic movie. Uh-huh. And um, he was in that theatre, and uh, I don't know, yeah, yeah. you know... Do you think there was a bit of a dark side to him? No, I think <laughs> it's perfectly... Just a normal, average man uh, that I think would uh, have uh, man needs urges and, urges and ideas. the rest of it. I mean, it's yeah, just... Well, it, that's but the it. thing is, yeah. there's it's more than one person had a stupid idea about watching some, th- some adult content um, yeah. because they felt an urge for it and they yeah. couldn't really describe it and why they absolutely needed it, but they yeah. did and they made poor choices I to go he, out and do I, that. Yeah. But he was arrested for exposing himself in That's the theatre. Right. But yeah. then what, what are men doing in that theatre? Exactly, they're either, yeah. I mean, they're either, you know, got very big uh, trench coats hiding what they're doing in that adult theatre, or um, apparently he uh, just exposed himself to um, deal with his uh, desires, and, and and that's when the owner of the theatre showed him and then called the police, and he was arrested, and uh, apparently he was um, too tired and burnt out to fight it, and he just sort of gave into it and said, yeah, I'm... You yeah. know, and he didn't go on any talk shows to say I'm sorry. Oh. You know, if I've disappointed people, and yeah, but yeah. It's, there's there's more than there's more people out there that um, have well, got much worse. Um, <laughs> I'm sure have yeah. got much worse going on than just deciding to go into it. I mean, it was a poor decision on yeah. his part, but yeah. I mean, I don't really well, know the time frame. If they're saying this is well, before you, you internet know. pornography, it must have been. It's years it's, ago, you know. It, it's must have been like, twenty years ago or something. It, it's like with anyone, you know, a celebrity type, you know, these days. Like twenty um, years ago, but it may would have he he was eighty um, years old, so seven was it or seventy? Eight, was it? no seventy? Sorry, sorry. Yeah, no, you're right. So <laughs> seventy, he was seventy years old. So twenty years yeah. ago, he would have been fifty. I mean, I'm almost fifty. I don't know. Oh, that's scary, I mean, isn't that's it? That's scary. Yeah, but it, I, I mean. If it was 20 years ago and you couldn't oh, get... Oh, this is the episode with Lawrence Fishburne. Yeah, that's Lawrence yeah, Fishburne, yeah, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. I, isn't I, that um, nuts? I read about that, yeah. Isn't that nuts? That's, isn't that funny? Look at him. <laughs> I like, love big it. Like a serious actor and he's doing like... It's just amazing. Cowboy tricks with an anima- 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 yeah, animated yeah. cowboy... I think it's brilliant. Rope. I guess the closest we ever had to that was um, <laughs> Whack a Day, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, what in the UK? Yeah, Timmy Mallet. Timmy Mallet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. It, you could see where he got it from. But obviously, the the set here is excellent, isn't it? Well, it's nuts. Yeah, I love it. You know, it, it's pretty amazing. Um, you know this this kind of amalgamation of uh, of different styles, well, you they know, were mismatched. Did and you read the article? That you sent me, they they were yeah. Tri- I briefly had a, a, I didn't really have a very long in depth read. But well, they were trying very. I think they were trying very hard to be different. Yeah. To be it's not. Like, yeah. Not to not conform 
to no, no. what is it normal and acceptable because uh, he was so odd. He was his character was so odd. Um, so they were trying. Yeah, to yeah, exa- exactly. Uh, and that kind of tied in pretty well with the whole, I don't know, postmodernism thing. You know, I guess didn't it? You know, yeah. It kind um, of. Uh, well, yeah. I actually, I'm going to read some of that now. Yeah. So, the I, I mean, <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> it was quite lucky though to do what he did because it it looks so blooming fun to just dress up and and act like a a clown or something every day. Apparently, I mean, I, he I would, he wasn't. I mean, he. I'd would, love to do that. He wasn't. <laughs> he wasn't anything like that character unless he yeah. was like really like getting uh, a little bit more uh, loose and maybe having a drink and right. apparently oh, he, the, the more yeah. relaxed he got the yeah. more yeah. silly he got yeah yeah but yeah. he normally like his day to day he was quite sensible right yeah no i think that makes sense it's a bit yeah. like me yeah yeah me we can too. all be a yeah. bit a bit like that right yeah yeah so um it says here uh, uh so it <laughs> This is a, a pop culture. The show was a pop cultural reference, which is why it's in this podcast. It's a, you know, there's an art uh, angle on it. Um, it was like pastel Bauhaus, how Paul Rubin's collaborators brought the spirit of downtown art to Pee Wee's Playhouse. So there you have it, sort of outsider art, downtown, downtown means kind of, it's almost like an outsider art, right? Um, the beloved entertainer died this week at 70. Two of his collaborators, artists Gary Panter and Wayne White, talk about the creative whirlwind of his zeitgeist-defining kids' show. Yeah. So, um, zeitgeist-defining. So, in the um, spirit of the time is what they mean. Yeah. Zeitgeist. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? And it's... I love that. It, it, that's really envisions that, doesn't it? That that of the time, yeah. The zeitgeist, yeah. You yeah. know, it it really just p- pictorially just emanates that, doesn't it? Yeah. Visually, you know, and it's like, oh yes. I mean, look at some of the. Love I mean, that, it's like you know. living. It's like living in pop art. Yeah, <laughs> isn't yeah. it? Pop it's, world. Yeah, it's that's nuts. It. It's it is. It's proper nut. Proper yeah, nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, it's fascinating. Um, that. So th- it's a fairly good article. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I oh, really. Net. I I enjoy that. I really do. Um. Yeah. yeah. So. Um, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, rest in peace, uh, Pee Wee Herman, uh, yeah. Paul Rubens. Um. Yeah. Sad. Oh. Yeah, seventies not quite old enough, my friend. It's not quite. Yeah. Um, In a way, sixty nine would have been cooler, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> obvious uh, <laughs> reference to the number. But um, um, yeah, yeah. Still, you know. so we're on to oh god, we're on to our last topic, which is um, the Tory MPs targeted in offensive Barbie bus stop poster campaign. Oh, and it's been absolutely oh <laughs> hilarious. So, uh, okay, so he's um, Jacob Rees-Mogg on on the end there. Oh yeah, the, with yeah. the with the glasses. Oh yeah, we talked about him earlier. Yeah, I, yeah. I didn't really know who he was. Yeah, um, I don't. I'm really pretty do sure politics. he came into a room I was went renting about 15 years ago. What? Because I was paying um, uh, at the time I was paying a rent that was below what I should have been paying. But it was arrangement between me and the landlord at the time. It's right. gone. It's over. It's passed. Right. It was like thirty pound a week or something. You know. Um, uh, I've got a, a a vague memory of him coming upstairs, going, hmm, "This shouldn't be going on," and all this. I mean, it was two people from right. whoever, you know, official type. I don't know if they were council or, or what, but um, I I didn't even know they. would Come up the stairs. I don't know who let them in. What the hell? And the next minute they're in my room, you know. Good grief. So, uh, shocking. Yeah, it, it was a bit, to be honest. Yeah. 
So transport bosses have ordered the removal. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I was just trying to make a living. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> this is it. You know, right, I'm yeah. an artist. Yeah. Well, this is why um, the Barbie posters. So let me let me explain what's going on. Uh, transport bosses have ordered the removal of a set of offensive Barbie theme posters from several London bus stops, which cast Tory MPs as characters in the film. Um, well, hardly. They just got Barbie graphics wrapped yeah. around them. All right, okay. Journalist is pretty awful. Um, the images are thought to have been placed behind the glass advertising panels on the sides of bus stops by anti-government protesters. Oh, I see. A Transport for London TFL So spokesman. what's Barbie got to do with anti-government? It, well, it's just... Uh, <laughs> well, Barbie is a common... Like, the latest, greatest uh, attention... Like, celebrity famous thing. Yeah. We all know that celebrities and movies are the most important thing on the planet. <laughs> so um, let's use that. I see. So, um, so some of these posters are filled with... Um, uh, comments about the different uh, Tory leaders and uh, with some rather ex- explicit wording I'm trying to find some of it where it yeah. mentions well like, let's go, let's go uh, back um, so there are com- I, I, I don't you know, totally to blame them to be honest <laughs> well no I mean this is it's perfectly uh, it's perfectly good the reason mm. I've got it as a story is because it's kind of um Again, like this uh, um, outsider sort of art creative thing that's uh, going on, uh, where people are using their um, uh, s- creative skill yeah. to target and make comments, political comments. Oh. Um, yeah, offensive Barbie posters. Mm. Um. Yeah, so <laughs> some of these are really... I mean, we can't read them out because they're just too rude. Okay. Um, but some of them are... We I can read some of it. Um, uh, the phrase, this Barbie is, and this Ken is. Um, <laughs> right. uh, it's really... There's Some of these uh, are really explicit. I'm trying to find um, one of the phrases... Where it's quotes, um, I can't find anything. <laughs> Come on, they were. I, I saw. Th- so, um, this uh, uh, act of of um, uh, of putting these posters up uh, around the place is this to kind of <laughs> inspire people to <laughs> to vote for the uh, opposite? Uh, I don't know. It's opposite just opposite side, or I think uh, it's. Yes, I mean, I guess. but it, uh. I mean, it's, it really is displaying them for who they are and why. There yeah. are descriptions on why mm. they're being called, for example, our yeah. PM in a poster with Barbie across it, like from the movie mm. logo. This Ken is a massive C something NT. Oh, I see. Right? Yeah. Uh, Barbie. And I was then wondering, is it and then there's a description, right? You know, and then, uh, but then, then an explanation <coughs> of why. Yeah, is it because of the whole Barbie world thing? It's all plastic and fake, and that's Could that's be. why they've used that to. Well, that's another way of looking sort of at paste it. Paste upon them, you know. Uh, that's definitely another way of looking at it. Yeah, but that's that's the way that yes. I would potentially make sense of. Yeah, it. I mean, uh, initially, it's just. Uh, there's, there's, it's two folded. That's a, that's exactly, I think, where they were going. Uh. But it's also the latest popular thing, right? Yeah, so, yeah, um, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So, hmm. yeah. I mean, I'm still trying to scour where they've got um, an explanation of some of these other posters. Like, oh God, stop. <clears throat> So it's almost like they're saying it's a Barbie, it's another Barbie, it's another Barbie. These figures are just plastic, fake yeah, puppets. Yeah, so here's, like, here's one. Know. And it, there's um. reasons for this, folks. We, I don't want to get too political, but mm. um, <laughs> but there, there's, uh, you know, you've got a graphical uh, image here of the movie. It should be a movie poster, right? But instead of a movie poster, it's one of our 
uh, politicians from the Tory party. And then it's like, um, uh, she told report, you know, this Barbie is not claimed by her ancestors. Um, and then Braverman told reporters it is her obsession yeah. and dream yeah, to yeah. deport the most vulnerable migrants and asylum seekers to their death. Is that true? I don't think she said to their death. Um, but I think she. I mean, she surely wanted, that she wanted to send them to Af. Like, uh, where was it? Was it? I can't remember where she was sending. Oh my god! Yeah, sorry, some remote island or something. Um. Yeah, I mean, there's too many of these to go into, but it's um, it's a bit of a mess, to be honest, <laughs> isn't it? I mean, I mean, uh, our know, government. I'm yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Rishi Sunak has presided uh, <coughs> over the most forceful pushback of the human rights of migrants and asylum seekers in modern British history. Hashtag, this Barbie is a C word. So that's what's going on. Anyway, I just found it a bit like, you know, guerrilla art. Yes, yeah, yeah. In a way. Um, Can you say that? Guerrilla art. I think so, yeah. Um, uh, Because there was that, even in the Second World War, wasn't there? You know, that kind of, um, uh, what was it, the... Um, oh, I can't think what it's called. Um, you know, like uh, promotional type. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know where we're going. Mate. Oh, I've lost it, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm wartime. Getting tired. Um, yeah, propaganda. Yes, propaganda. Yes, that's it. That's it. Phew. Propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> God, it was in there somewhere. Yeah. So um, yeah, well, in a way, you could say it's you know that's kind of similar isn't it in a way isn't it that sort of thing isn't it um but uh is it propaganda i mean or uh it's anti propaganda or it's yeah it's it's on maybe anti yeah but it's on that level isn't it yeah it's kind of like trying to um, trying to do it's trying to achieve a goal a political goal yeah yeah that's it yeah yeah you said it right Wow, I'm being. What happened? I'm just like tapping into my intelligence. I'm Jesus just glad that you Christ. were able to do it because <laughs> you know I would have been lost. <laughs> oh, anyway, I mean so. that's it really. Um, there's not really much. I had so many plans to talk about other art things. Like I wanted to follow up on what was happening about the uh, the Turner Prize. Did you follow that at all? Um, Did it actually happen? Uh, it Did kind of just disappeared. I, I've been too involved, to be honest, in my own I didn't work. even notice a winner. Who won the Turner Prize? Yeah. Uh, Turner Prize. Sorry. Uh, I know that, that looks really bad, but... Uh, I you don't know, even, it's I life, and, you know, I've been quite focused on... I don't think it's been announced yet, Mark. Um, We're okay. Oh, okay. Well, there you go, then. Uh, what if I put the <laughs> 2023 uh, oh no so how do you how do you win the Turner Prize because surely um, uh, it can't be as simple as having original work and then they choose it um you have had to have done something Im really impressive at all. You don't need to be... I guess mm. it helps if you're an up-and-coming artist and you're getting some attention, mm. but I think you need to have done something really right. impressive and you can come out of yeah. nowhere oh, okay. and be uh, a nominee. Oh. So what, what would they count um, potentially as a, really uh, impressive? A unique solo show. Oh, I see. Or a cause of something like yeah. you've done, changed thinking yeah. by holding a so some sort of political thing. Probably would uh, you could do that. I mean, there are there are people that have been um, nominated because of their um, just you know how they go about uh, um, contributing. And create, but really, it's about creating yeah. almost like creating. Um, a type of, you know, a movement or some kind mm. of event. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it might <coughs> happen. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see, Mark. I don't know. Interesting. Um, yeah. So, Exhibition Shortlist presented 
28th of September. Oh, nice. There we go. So we've actually talked about something before it's happened. Hey, living too early. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, not. That's not right. That's not Surely. right. We come. We we'll, we'll talk about it after <laughs> it's passed. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, then, then, then yeah. just to make yeah. up for it. Yeah. Uh, so the Turner Prize was something I wanted to follow up on. Um, also, the, um, there was some art fair news that I wanted to talk about, but I just I haven't really got round to it. Yeah, let's bring it up. Really? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> when are we going? Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. And I, what space do we have? Well, I was just thinking about talking about some fairs, but I mean, yeah. I don't really know what else is on. I mean, there's a. I was. I wanted to talk about um, some galleries. I wanted to talk about art fairs. I wanted to talk about just everything that's going on. Oh, that would be nice. Let's let's um. Maybe just pick one that that seems like a potential well, goer for some a uh, goer, yeah, a some something goer. to aim for that w- we could possibly aim for, and and anyone that might be listening could think about. Oh, I don't think interested. there is one. I don't think uh, there is one for us, Mark. Uh, um. So we've got New York, New York, uh, Latin America. Well, uh, there's nothing. There's nothing in the UK. There's nothing. Uh, yeah, there's nothing in the UK. I mean, obviously, I think my work except for Photo London 2023. It could easily go into it's any of gone. those those fairs that my paintings. But um, yeah, that's. Um, I mean, uh, I've always I've got a little bit of a fantasy about ending up uh, with my work in New York. Yeah, for some reason I don't know why. I think it, my work would go down really well in New York. Should yeah. we look at Freeze New York? Okay, yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Looks like an yeah. NFT that one. It does a bit. <laughs> uh, oh dear. <laughs> well. Oh dear, Mark. Um, sorry, I've got a low battery um, warning sign. That's oh, we're in trouble way. now. Well, it's time to. F- we've been going for an hour. So oh, okay. Well, it's time to round it up. I've got ten percent left. So. And about well, uh, how much? Sixty percent left of that. Um, I'm 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 not getting. Are you seeing some of this? Are you getting any feelings about the work that gets shown at the Freeze New York Fair? What's, what's up that way? Up. Oh, I've lost connection. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's probably uh, the battery. Um, I'm not. You know, I'm not hopeful that I even fit in. Um. Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's you know. Um, uh, well, I think it's all rubbish. My f- work is far superior. I tell you what, though. I mean, I've spoken to people that actually work in or have worked in um, serious galleries, and um, and have also gone to art fairs, and um, they've they've said, "God, the work you see around art fairs is uh, a lot of it, anyway. Is rubbish. Off all, you know. Really, just awful, you know." Um, and which is point. shocking, surely, because those things are extortionate to hire out. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could never afford it. Um, uh, you know, I'm not saying that all ba- all art uh, art fairs is awful because there's some good work too. Foundations. But what's that? That sounds familiar. But it does make you think sometimes, doesn't it? You know, how does you know what's going on? You know, how does how is that any better than my friend that lives three doors up from me? You know, right? What he can do in a sketchbook in an afternoon. <laughs> you know. um, what is uh, Foundations? That sounds familiar. Foundations is a new online. Oh, it's online. Curated by Artsy. Anyway, um. Yeah, sorry, it's it's not. I feel like it's not been a very entertaining podcast. This one, I, I mean, it's okay. Yeah, I think it's been quite entertaining. <laughs> I think parts of it have been, you know, well, how to go, very entertaining. I tell you what, I could do, just to make it a little bit more entertaining. Please don't. <laughs> Whatever it is, I, uh, I thought I could do a little um, Pee Wee Pee Wee Herman dance, just really, to f- just to finish off. Yeah. Go on then. Okay. 
Right, um, so Mark is now performing his Pee Wee Herman dance. What is it, Mark? I don't have the right ch- clothes, but uh, you'll no, have to no, imagine that. Imagine, yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, watch out for my painting. <laughs> oh, um, that was very uh, Pee Wee. Herman, like, um, uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I yeah. can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it either. Um, <laughs> um, oh anyway, um, too old. Yes. Oh dear. So, um, that's it. We we should probably wrap things up. Um, so that's us uh, for another podcast number fourteen now. Mark, I've done fourteen. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, a few came before our collaboration, but. Um, yeah, if you've um, liked uh, what you've uh, seen and heard us talking about, please do subscribe. Follow us on YouTube or Spotify or other streaming services. And uh, check out our website where you can see our artwork for sale. Uh, everything's for sale, that down there. I'm not sure if that's on the uh, website, Mark. It's well, not, um, but if anyone's interested in this artwork, I'm happy to get it framed. <laughs> I do a good job. Um, <laughs> Are you out of breath? Yeah, for that I little dance. I think I am, to be honest. You're really like, that's really unfit. That's bad, isn't it? Yeah, it it was like five <gasps> seconds long. <laughs> oh. No wonder he was so thin. Do you know oh. what I mean? He was so what a <laughs> workout for the. Week, isn't it? Uh, um, yeah, so That's okay. I'm going um, back to the gym tomorrow. So yeah, follow us on. We've got uh, the Instagram page. We've got the website. We've got Spotify, YouTube, and um, we've got uh, the podcast. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, check us out online. This I'm selling for about seventeen hundred. If anyone uh, is interested, and it will look great in a frame. With some nice glass, <laughs> can you, you you know you could see that on your wall somewhere you know just in the right space it would be gorgeous. It's a one-off as well, you know. So um, yeah. Anyway, so there you go. Um, thanks for uh, thanks for another um, entertaining uh, podcast there, Mark. Um, it was jolly oh, good. Yeah, look at that. Oh, the music <laughs> stops. I can always I can always cut cut yeah. into it. Um, um, yeah, so thanks for another um, episode of Living Too Late, Mark. And um, hope uh, it's always we'll a pleasure. P- always a pleasure. And um, I hope we'll be back um, very soon for number fifteen, and at least at least three more subscribers. Oh no, <laughs> it's going to be more like three hundred. Oh, next I, one. I like the positive. Oh, yeah. the positive. Uh, <laughs> angle on it, yeah. Um, okay, that's <laughs> it for another episode of Living Too Late. I've been Ollie Smith, and over there, it's been my studio mate, Mark Elliot Smith. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Have fun. <laughs> <laughs>